Hi, this is Matt with Inmate Search Info. Today we're going to be looking at how to find Wyoming inmates. The Wyoming Department of Corrections offers a searchable database of currently incarcerated inmates as well as those that are still under the active supervision of the DOC in Wyoming. Now, one thing to note before we do any kind of search is that this information that is presented by the Wyoming Department of Corrections is not 100% guaranteed to be accurate. So there's a disclaimer here that basically says you don't want to use this information improperly. Uh, they're not going to take any responsibility if this information is incorrect or if it's used incorrectly. Now, examples of that, uh, first of all, kind of obvious ones, you don't want to use this information for any threatening behavior or for any kind of uh, other kinds of harassment. Um, that's illegal itself and can get you into trouble. You don't want to find yourself on these pages, so don't do it. Second thing, maybe not as obvious, is that there are certain types of background checks that are specifically designed for things like housing decisions, uh, for employment decisions, or for credit decisions. So this is not considered FCIA compliant. Uh, that's not the kind of background check, even though it is directly from a state source, uh, it's not covered by that. So if you are trying to make any kind of decision that might be um, like a protected type of um, uh, official purpose or that's governed by a particular type of law, you know, you want to consult a legal professional to make sure you're not using any information incorrectly. Again, don't want to get yourself into trouble. That one's a little less obvious than, you know, the threatening behavior, but just be careful. Um, this is really just for information. So as long as you're doing this for your own edification or information, it's fine. Uh, just be careful when you get into anything that's, you know, in a, a gray area legally. So assuming you accept those terms and conditions, uh, first of all, if you happen to have the Wisconsin DOC number, uh, you can pop that in and get taken directly to the results you're looking for. Otherwise, you can search by uh, name. You can narrow it down by age and gender. Um, Wyoming doesn't have a massive population as far as the MA population. And because it doesn't include historical results, that's people who are, you know, uh, not currently in the system or under supervision, you're not going to get a ton of hits. So I would generally suggest keeping it kind of more general if you're looking for someone. So we'll pop in a name and see what we get. Okay, as I said, there's not a huge prison population, so I'm just going to use a last name, a very common one, so that we get a few results. So even using Smith, which, you know, again, is very common and not narrowing it down at all, um, you know, we have a fair number of results, but not an inordinate amount. Now, obviously, if I had narrowed it down a bit more, we would have gotten a lot less. Uh, now, you can see the status of the person, whether they're under probation, there's parole here, or whether they're an inmate. So we'll click on someone who's currently an inmate. It, it does, it's not obvious, but you can click on it and get taken to a page on the person. So here we're given kind of the full name, and we're given where they're incarcerated, the address of the facility, contact number, and uh, a basic description of the person as well. Um, we don't have a date of birth that some do, so you know you have to go by age. Um, and then we do have the offense that was committed as well, and the term of the you know of the sentence. So, like I say, they do have the information on you know where the person is incarcerated if it is someone that is currently imprisoned, um, but they don't give you kind of a link directly to the penitentiary. That's something that would be you know, helpful. They do have that on another page, and we have links to these pages on our uh, Wyoming page at Inmate Search Info. So check that out in the description. It'll make it a little easier for you. So this person was in the state penitentiary. So if we click on that, uh, we should get information on the folks in charge, a little bit of historical information, some specific directions, and then, yeah, there's a lot of history. And... Yeah, what's visitation information is kind of what I was looking for. So I guess there's one page for all of that. Um, that's something that you'd have to, let's see, yeah, sift through to kind of determine. It's not the most clear thing. Um, we'll see if we can give you maybe a better sense of what this all means on our page because this is a little confusing, but they do have the information available theoretically. Uh, and we'll have links to all of that or a sorted list of that as well on our page. So going back to our previous search results, we can look at someone, let's see, on probation, and you're able to see the facility or who, you know, is in charge of that. Not the, not a specific officer, but at least a contact 
number and for how long they are projected to be under probation. So this person after 2023, if all goes according to plan, will drop off this search result. So again, if it's somebody that you think may have been imprisoned or um, that you know is imprisoned but is no longer under the supervision of the Wyoming DOC, you're not going to find them here. That's something where like a normal regular public records background check might be helpful to you because if you're trying to locate someone or just get a little more information about their past, including potentially um, a criminal past, um, we can help you with that at Inmate Search Info if you take a look uh, in our Wyoming page below. And finally, let's take a look at the parole just to see if there's any difference. And not really. Um, we do have, again, a contact number for this person we do get the list of you know the previous uh, crimes committed and a little description no photos available um, in Wyoming uh, that's something obviously very helpful for identification but again if we go you know if we do a little bit more of a, a narrow search like let's just pop in I'll search here and see um, you know you could narrow it down quite a bit you know just with the first name <laughs> even probably a first initial would help you out a lot because they will let you do partials so there you go. Hopefully that's been helpful to you. Um, we do have other information on other kinds of offender searches. As I mentioned, we have links to both this page and the page on the different facilities in Wyoming. Uh, helpful tips, step-by-step -step instructions, and other resources including the database of information on each facility, getting in touch with them, and visitation requirements. Uh, if that's been helpful, please leave a comment below. Thanks so much for watching.